Hello viewers, welcome back to another session of uh, yeah, eradicating error. Today we'll be discussing about uh, this error, no pricing procedure could be determined. Um, it pops up uh, with message number V12 and 12. Yeah, this is uh, with S4 HANA. Right, uh, in S4 HANA, this error occurs quite commonly during the initial stage of implementation or maybe also later if uh, for that particular customer if you have not maintained the uh, pricing procedure this will come up um, this error pertains to the uh, sales and distribution channel and uh, yes the consultants handle the uh, query uh, you know whenever it needs to be solved uh, why do we have to maintain customer pricing procedure um, during sales order processing the pricing procedure determines the kind of pricing element uh, that you can use and uh, in which sequence they are processed yeah and uh, the path uh, or where you need to maintain all this pricing procedure and every uh, everything uh, we have the path here this is an spro and uh, the direct transaction code is ovkk and then also you have to maintain a pricing procedure in uh, bp uh, transaction uh, let's jump into sap uh, and then let's see uh, what's uh, Let's see how uh, the error comes up. You, this error comes up while creating the uh, uh, the sales order. Let's jump into SAP. So type in VA01. There you are. And then the order type is OR. Sales organization is UKP1. Sales distribution channel is UK and then division 00. This is what I'm using. And this is what exactly that you need to maintain uh, also in OVKK. Let's see that later, but let's see how the uh, error comes up. Sold to party. I have this uh, customer number. I, I'll use this. And then when I enter, I'll make it bigger. When I enter, now you will see no pricing procedure could be determined. So this is the, uh, yeah, this is the message number. As I said, uh, already it's V1212. So I'll close this. I will also cancel this. And I will go to um, the transaction code directly, but you can also choose the uh, path. Okay, this is locked. I think it's me. So I'll have to see. There it is. So the transaction code is OVKK. And uh, if I click on this position and then search for my uh, sales organization, UKP1, uh, I don't have any entry here. So I need to make a new entry so that, you know, the pricing procedure error uh, goes away. So what I will do, I'll click on new entries and then I'll type in UKP1. That's the sales organization and distribution is UK we saw that in the uh, the sales order creation and then division is 00, zero. and uh, document pricing procedure let's see what we have so it's uh, standard I'll click on A that's and then the customer pricing procedure so we have different pricing procedures here one two a zero one zero two one that is standard yi and then yt um, i'll choose standard here click on one and then pricing procedure let's see let's search and i'll choose a17c10 that is for the materials and uh, as far as condition type is concerned let's see what we have um, I will choose PR00 and then let's enter and everything is set up so everything has come up save this the transportation uh, thing appears and then click on continue 
so then go back then another thing what you need to look up is uh, in the uh, customer uh, data itself let's type in BP this is business process and then let's load our customer our customer was uh, UK P1002 as you saw that in the uh, uh, while during or during the customer order creation I'll enter and then I will click on edit mode or change mode and then I will scroll down and then here also you can see this customer pricing procedure and this has to be number one and then we also saw that in OVKK it was a uh, standard uh, pricing procedure that we used and you have to use exactly the same pricing procedure here as well so I will save this so yeah I, as I did not change so well I will delete save and come back you know just to just to show you I'll enter one save so the data is saved now so I go back I'll type in VA01 so all the entries are the same so I will go inside and I'll choose the customer so now if I enter there should be no error coming up so as you can see there's no error we just have to enter all the reference numbers and everything and then here material whatever so thereby the error is eradicated thank you for watching and hope you'll use this video as you, uh, uh, for your reference and, and uh, also try to eliminate your errors whenever the pricing procedure error comes up Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.